He wasn't a moderator. He was the host of the liberal show. Did he talk about the decimation, demoralization, destitution of the U.S. military? Did he ask any questions about our ability to fight wars? Did the entertainer Anderson Cooper do anything serious? He tried to. He went as far as uh, his bosses would let him. I'll give him credit for that. Back in a minute on the Savage Nation. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. The Savage Nation is sponsored by Swiss America, the only company I trust with my financial future. Call 800-289-2646 or SwissAmerica.com. Hundreds of illegal aliens have been arrested in Florida for murder and rape. And they're bringing in more. Hundreds. Hundreds. Did you see the headline? Say, oh, you're just bashing immigrants. Well, you know, data doesn't lie. It's real. You didn't see that article. Didn't make it to the San Francisco Chronicle where all is well under the great King Obama. It's not true. Hundreds of aliens arrested in Florida for murder and child sex crimes. You can find the article yourself, but you don't want to find the article yourself. It's from uh, Count on Two First, NBC2. ICE arrests 314 criminals across Florida, four locally. And these are violent ones. More than a quarter of the vermin had critical re criminal records, included felony convictions for serious or violent offenses, such as murder, attempted murder, child sex crimes, sex offenses, weapons charges, and drug violations. But because they're, well, they're immigrants, they're all good. And anyone who arrests them is an immediate racist. And the whole Department of Homeland Security should be investigated right now for arresting any of them. It may just be a cultural thing and uh, not, not seeing it properly. I mean, you know, it's probably because we're too uptight as a society that we see child sex crimes as a crime. I mean, if you're a liberal, there are no child sex crimes. Most children invite them to liberals. To a liberal, children invite sex crimes because they really want sex. So there's really no crime there. Just ask the uh, witch on the U.S. Supreme Court who would like a like over the age of consent, Ruth Bader, bad girl, Ginsburg. As far as attempted murder, what, what's the big deal? What is, what is attempted murder to, to a liberal, as long as it's not them? Weapons charges, well, don't so many people in America have weapons? Why should they be charged? Drug violations, aren't all people who use drugs good? Just trying to uh, titrate their, uh, their anxiety? You get the picture. There's only so much sarcasm I can put onto the cake at any one time. Three minutes and 52 seconds left in this hour. And then there's only one more hour to go. And get the savage on the go by listening to it on the radio. I don't even feel Radio Tourette's kicking in today. Something is really wrong. When I have Radio Tourette's, the show is better. When I'm slightly agitated and depressed, the imitations are better. I, if I continue to feel this good, I may have to leave radio altogether. This will be the last book, and I'll do a show at the end of December, and I'll quit because I feel too good. What do I need radio for if I feel so good? I used to do radio because it was the only three hours a day I felt really good. I would fly, you know, fly like an eagle. Remember that, that music? If I feel good all the time, though, I won't need radio. It'll make me feel agitated. And I think I'll become an ordinary American. I'll golf. I'll say everything is fine. Obama's a good man comes from a wonderful background. We don't know where it is, how it is, why he got here, how he got here. We don't know he, about the madrasas. We don't care. Everyone goes to school. Why should that matter? Michael on KSFO, what's on your mind? Uh, Dr. Savage, I just wanted to, to tell you that this is uh, an, an honor for me and that you are the highest state of consciousness available on radio today. And I think that you are feared by the liberals more than anything else out there. And I'm proud to be a listener to that. Your That's very, look, I'm, what I'm going to say, I don't love hearing this. I love hearing this. To say I'm the highest state of consciousness on the radio is an understatement, but I'll accept it. And to say liberals fear me is true because they ignore me. I mean, they mention people who are much lesser than me, intelligence-wise, and in terms of the history of my production. And the reason they ignore me and don't write about me is because I'm a real threat to them. See, in many ways, I'm one of them. I have a higher, three higher degrees. I'm more literate than most liberals. They cannot compete with me on that level, so they make believe I don't exist. They try to do to me what the Soviets used to do to those who disagreed with them, with the system. 
And it's a great honor to me to be ignored by everyone in the media. Just because the Rush cartel tries to kick me to the curb doesn't mean they're winning. The Rush cartel is losing right now. How else do you explain that on, on streaming radio, this show has a 25.7 share, and Limbor, God bless him, has a 13.7 share. Why? Because the demographics have shifted. And although I'm o older than Rush, I have 10 times more energy, and I'm more insightful. And I don't have to tell you every two minutes that I'm, I'm an L Savage and this and that. I think you just know it. It's that simple. God bless him. I hope he lasts another 100 years. But there's a movement going on, and I'm not part of that Rush cartel. Do you know that Rush's brother, David Limbaugh, represents three to four people on the radio? Did you know that? And that they're all promoted? They're all promoted. They're all part of the cartel, and I'm the odd man out. Did you know that? Look, I'm gonna, you want me to take the gloves off on the reality of what I face every day? I'm willing to stand up and take it, and I'm willing to fight back, but only so much. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take it forever. So, but I want to thank you for your compliments. I hope you come to the uh, event. I hope you buy the new book. I'm sending you Government Zero right now on the one uh, condition that you go out and buy one and give it to a liberal friend or neighbor, even your wife. Is she liberal? Is your wife liberal? No, she's not. But I will buy one and I will pass it on to. But do you have a neighbor that you can give Government Zero to who is, let's say, a reasonable liberal whose mind is made up who might just read something? Yes, I do. Good. We all do. We all know liberals who just might be open-minded enough to say, you know what, I don't agree with you, but let me look at it anyway. I've listened to him. He's very intelligent. He knows the facts. Let's see if I agree or disagree. Maybe they'll read Government Zero. I don't really know. It's a Pandora's box because once they open that book, they're finished. Join the Savage Nation. Call now. 855-400-SAVAGE. Savage. Warning, the Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture. And here he is, Michael Savage. This joint that I ordered from is the... Should I name it on the air? I can't do it. It's like a tuna... I won't say it because then they'll sue me. I had the assistant order a grilled tuna, you know, like a fresh tuna. I don't know what it costs. Like a burger joint that also sells tuna burgers. Who knows how old the fish is? It could have been caught when Bernie Sanders was a young man. I don't really know how old the fish is. Could have been Bernie Sanders' grandfather caught it in Palestine. I don't know. I say well done. It comes in pink with a slime on it. Now, what am I supposed to do? Waste my time, call the place up again? They have high school kids in there that, uh, anyway, you want to talk about Hillary Clinton, not me, count me out. You want me to do uh, Bernie Sanders imitations? Maybe. You want me to talk about the election 500 years from now? I don't think so. You want me to talk about Obama decimating the military in the country, ripping down the flag? Maybe I'll do it. In the last hour, we had Bill Gertz of the Washington Times talking about how China is racing ahead on Chinese space weapons and how Obama has gutted the, the, the space weapon programs. How do they not impeach him for this? Where is their pushback? Where is there any mention of this? Well, okay, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Same day, we get a report. FBI director, who I think is a wonderful man, trying to warn us, he says the Islamic State is recruiting 24 hours a day in all 50 states using social media telling the uh, lo the young haters to go overseas to join the murderers or if you can't come kill where you are now I want to ask you something what sane nation doesn't have the capability to hack into those senders arrest them on the spot tell me how how we don't have that capability do you understand what I'm saying to you we're crippled we're a nation of weaklings run by weaker people and we're crippled altogether now, we're worried about the Confederate flag. I'm not worried about the Confederate flag, Bernie. I'm worried about the ISIS flag. But go tell them to that on the stage with Anderson Cooper there, the genius. Anyway, that's the opening to the show. The phone number is 855 I didn't play any sound yet today. Obama says he's going to end the mission in Afghanistan in 2014. Today he announces. Did you hear the announcement? He's keeping troops there. Where is that? Clip three now? The reversal? All right, let's hear clip three. 
I'm therefore announcing the following steps, which I am convinced offer the best possibility for lasting progress in Afghanistan. Yeah, right. First, I've decided to maintain our current posture of 9,800 troops in posture. Afghanistan posture. through posture. most of next year, 2016. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Their mission will not change. Our troops will continue to p pursue those even say two it. narrow pursue. tasks that I outlined earlier. Training uh -huh. Afghan forces. All right, let, let's knock it off. You know it's all double talk. Or cut it off. P posture. Pursue. That's some commander-in-chief. A real patent in the White House. Posture. Progress. Pursue. Given what's at stake in Afghanistan, I'm firmly convinced we should make this effort. Oh, let's hear clip four from the commander-in-chief. He took time out from golf and fundraising in Hollywood. Let's hear clip four. And to our men and women in uniform. I know this means that some of you will rotate back into Afghanistan. Rotate. At the end of our combat mission, this is not like 2010 when nearly 500 Americans were killed and many more were injured. But still, Afghanistan remains dangerous. 25 brave Americans have given their lives there this year. I do not send you into harm's way lightly. It's oh, the most solemn no. decision that I make. No. I know the wages of war and the wounded warriors I visit in the All hospital. All right, we heard that. Yeah, no, the blah, 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 blah. They wrote that in for him. So the anti-war president, even he has come to understand that he's got to leave some troops in Afghanistan since he made this disaster in Iraq happen by withdrawing our troops out too precipitously. So even this lunatic leftist fanatic was made to understand that Afghanistan will fall if he removes the troops, okay? So, but he's leaving too little, by, too few, by the way. That's number two. Ask any military man. You're not going to do it with that number of uh, men over there. And he goes on and on. Now we have John Kerry uh, <clears throat> blaming the recent murders of Jews on Jews. Even though Palestinians are publishing pictures of how to stab a Jew and kill him, I swear to God, I found this in the, in the, in the um, Times of Israel this morning. I was nauseated. So I had Art put it up on michaelsavage.com. I linked it up on Facebook. I was shocked. I was well, not, not really shocked in the sense that I put it past them. But there are videos that teach would-be Palestinian murderers how to stab Jews and kill them. I know it's gruesome. But there's pictures of where the knives should be thrust to kill an ordinary civilian, as the practitioners of the religion of peace did in Israel over the last month, including killing a pair of parents, with four young children, innocent, Bible-loving Jews went on down the wrong road. They chopped them to pieces in front of their children and made their children watch. And you want them to give up half of Israel to these maniac murderers? Well, okay, I guess I don't. Then you got Bernie Sanders, the great commander-in-chief. I wonder what his solution would be to be over there. Professor wants climate skeptics sued. He gets millions from taxpayers. We finally have a picture of him. Nice fella from India. Learned how to come over and work the system. I'm not singling out Indians. I mean, I happen to like the Indian people. I've supported them a hundred times. But this guy happens to be from India, that's all. What, I'm not supposed to mention it? Why do I mention it? Because he takes some of the money he steals under climate science and sends it over to his illiterate daughter in India who runs a, a center that makes 160000 a year. I don't think she can read. <clears throat> Michael Savage news newsletter, Revising History is How Communist Revolution Begins. Let me read that. It was very good. It came from yesterday's show. Welcome to the Michael Savage newsletter, your daily insider report on all things Savage. In today's issue, a report that New York Mayor Bill de Blasio was removing portraits of George Washington and other dead white people from the mayor's mansion to add more diversity to the artwork hanging in his official resident court, Dr. S's eye. A reporter from New York City's NBC TV explained, quote, when selecting new artwork for the de Blasio's historic new home, the goal was in line with this mayor's priorities in general. That is to paint a more diverse picture of city life, especially in the late 18th century when Gracie Mansion was built. Well, you see, that's not how life was. The founding fathers were all white men. They're the ones who fought the British to give us a nation. I'm sorry that you can't revise history, but okay, don't tell that to a Sandinista-loving lowlife. WNBC said that two days after de Blasio officials told the news channel a painting of Washington would be among the art pieces removed, a spokesmouth insisted there had been a misunderstanding. Whether or not public pressure caused a change of mind regarding Washington, de Blasio's move is a significant issue. Savage said this to his listeners. 
You say, what's the big deal? It's only a painting of George.